Get that uh, step stool too. I was the kid that was always getting snakes and lizards and chasing stuff around. And I really didn't get into birds until, and I say until I was a teenager, say uh, 14 or 15 or so. But that, by that time, I was a veteran snake catcher and, yeah, and salamander catcher. And, and then once I found out you could identify birds with binoculars in a book, that was it. I was off into birds. So my house finch work is looking at um, so why animals have ornamental traits. So uh, beautiful colors or songs or dances, uh, these kind of things. And the house finch is a great study bird because it's got um, the flashy red plumage uh, and they're very abundant and do well in cages and, and they're amenable to study. And it turns out, and this is old research that I did back when I was a grad student, um, female finches really like the males with the brightest red feathers. So the red feather coloration uh, like is a, a primary criterion in, um, in pair formation and mate choice. So then that explains it to a degree. Males have bright red feathers to attract females. But then of course that leads to the next question, why would females care? Why would you base your choice of a mate on feather coloration? Well, it's a very important choice and they use feather coloration as a, as a, a basis for deciding what male to mate with. Auburn has a, a set of, of recognition um, uh, awards for research and, and it's, it's nice to get these if you're working hard and doing well with your research. You know, everybody likes to pat on the back. Everybody likes a little external recognition. So yeah, sure, it, it definitely helps morale. To this day, we haven't gotten definitive proof of our discovery. So we've, we've had visual observations of the birds. I've personally seen it. My very skilled uh, grad students um, saw the birds, we've heard the birds, um, we have the physical evidence of the birds, the big holes in trees and scaled bark, but uh, these things are really elusive. They're hard to get the bird in front of a, a nice camera. And, uh, and so a lot of people are very skeptical for good reason. There's been enough publicity. The local people know they'll get a big payoff if they get a picture of it. I think, uh, Fishermen or hunters gonna come back with a picture of this bird one of these days, um, but maybe we'll get it ourselves. We 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 know where these birds were in 05 and 06, and and we're still down there kind of keeping an eye on things. Mm -hmm.